let's take a look at how to evaluate exponents. They asked us to evaluate 5 to the second power, or 5 squared. When you have an exponent, the big number that you see in front is called the base, and then it's being raised to a power, which is the little number you see up top, which we call the exponent. So we always have a base raised to the exponent power. Okay, to set it up, to evaluate this, Exponents mean to multiply the base by itself the exponent number of times. Okay, multiply the base by itself the exponent number of times. So here, when I have 5 to the second power, that's telling me to multiply 5 by itself twice, or 5 times 5. Okay, so take a look at that. The base is what I'm multiplying out, 5, and the exponent is how many times, right? I'm writing it out twice. And then it just becomes a multiplication problem. 5 times 5 is 25. So 5 squared equals 25. Here we have 0 to the first power. Well, our base is 0 and our exponent is 1. So that means we're multiplying 0 out one time. Well, that would just be... 0. 4 to the second power, or 4 squared. Well, again, remember you're multiplying the base out the exponent number of times. So this means I'm multiplying 4 2 times, or I'm saying 4 times 4. Now, please don't say 4 times 2. That's a really common mistake that happens here. It's not 4 times 2. It's 4 times 4, right? Or 4 multiplied twice. 4 times 4 gives us 16, so 4 to the second power is 16. Okay, 1 to the second power, or 1 squared. Well, this is telling us to multiply 1 out 2 times. So I would say 1 times 1, well, 1 times 1 just gives me 1. 2 to the second power. Okay, this is telling me to multiply 2 out 2 times. So 2 times 2 gives me 4. 1 to the 0 power. Okay, now this is a special case. When you have any number raised to the 0 power, and it actually doesn't matter. It could be 1 to the 0 power, or it could even be 57 to the 0 power, right? Any number raised to the 0 power always equals 1. So anytime you see something to the 0 power, automatically your answer is going to be 1. 4 to the first power. Well, this tells us to write out 4 one time, so that would just be 4. 2 to the second power. Well, that's telling us to multiply to 2 times, so 2 times 2, well, that would be 4. 2 to the first power. Well, here, that's telling us to write out 2 one time, so that would just be 2. 1 to the first power. Okay, well, if I'm writing out 1 one time, that's just 1. 